Welcome to the Art of Healing. I'm Kristen Heron with the Ormond Art Museum. This month, we'll make a paper mache heart. Gather these supplies. If at any point you need more time during this video, just press the pause button. The first step is to crumple three balls of newspaper that are about the same size. Use masking tape to loosely wrap each ball of newspaper so that it holds its shape. The first two balls will be the top of the heart, and the third ball will turn into a cone to be the point at the bottom of the heart. So first, loosely wrap it with tape, and then gently pinch one side of it into a point so that it's more of a cone shape. Use a piece of tape to hold the cone in place. When you place these three pieces together, you should have the general shape of a heart. Use masking tape to tape the three shapes together. As you're taping, form the shape into a heart by squishing the paper and molding it more into the heart form. As you're sculpting the heart, use extra pieces of paper to wrap the mini sculpture so that it becomes smoother and more heart-shaped. Continue wrapping and taping until you're happy with the shape of the heart. Remember that your sculpture is three-dimensional, so give equal attention to all sides as you're wrapping and taping. Eventually, the entire heart will be covered in tape, but before you get that far, take a moment to write a hidden message to store inside your heart. Now finish covering the entire heart with masking tape. Once the heart is covered in masking tape, while it doesn't need to be perfect at all, there may be some areas you'd like to fill in and smooth out. So just rip off a small piece of paper and tape it into any areas that you'd like to smooth out. Now that the heart sculpture is formed, it's time for the messy part of the project. Grab equal parts glue and water and mix them together until you have a nice paste. If it seems too watery, just add more glue. Now cut some strips of newspaper. I'd recommend cutting more than you think you need because your hands are about to get really messy and if you need more strips, you'll have to stop and wash your hands. Take a strip, dip it in the water and glue solution, and lay it on the heart. Keep repeating this until the entire heart is covered. One thing to remember during this step of the project is that the long strips fit better on the long, flat part of the heart. When you come to the curved edge of the heart, 
Rip the pieces into small squares and then place them on the heart. This will make it easier to avoid any wrinkles or air bubbles underneath the paper. Continue layering paper onto the heart until the entire thing is covered. You may want to do one side at a time to give the other side a chance to dry, or you can cover the entire heart and then place it on the top of a cup so that both sides can dry at the same time. Once it's dry, gather your paints and decorate the heart. I painted the entire heart pink and then I let it dry and then I came back and added details after the first layer of paint dried. Add details to one side of the heart and then let it dry and then turn it over and decorate the other side. If you want to speed up the drying time, try a hair dryer. Next I'll turn this into a hanging heart. Use a length of ribbon, find the center of it, and then use a hot glue gun to glue it to the top of the heart. Use a generous amount of glue to make sure it's stuck to the heart really well. Add some beads or other embellishments to decorate the heart. You could glue sequins onto the heart or anything else you can think of. Tie a bow and hang your heart where you'll see it every day. Don't forget the message that you hid inside. For more free art tutorials, please visit the video library at ormondartmuseum.org.